was ranked number one in the world, but the Italian just jumped like two centimeters further than me. Whatever. I'll get her in Paris. Noelle is talking about her long jump world ranking, one of the events she'll compete in at the Paris Olympics. She's made literal leaps and bounds in that and has set U.S. records in that and is is a, a viable medal contender for Paris of 2024. There's like two that Jason Lala is Noel's prosthetist. A former Paralympian himself, he knows what it takes to win on the global stage. And he's been by Noel's side every step of the way. I was fortunate enough to work with her from her from her first steps and see her literally take her first running steps on a on a treadmill and a harness. Noelle hit the ground running and she never stopped. And Noelle just is literally someone that just doesn't hear the word no. Like she sets her mind to something and she will achieve it. This year, Lambert upped her game. She started training for the long jump event in addition to her 100 meter sprint. The reason why I never did it before is because I was terrified to jump off the prosthetic blade um, and putting all my trust in something that's not really attached to my body or completely mine. Lala says the long jump and the 100 meter sprint require different prosthetic devices. With sprinting and the 100 meter, it's all about moving forward. You're not, you don't want to be moving vertically. But for long jump, it's a combination of those two. You have to have the right amount of upward trajectory with the right amount of forward trajectory to be able to basically hit that, that longest jump mark that you're shooting for. Whether it's sprinting or jumping, Noel seems to hit that mark every time. It just goes to show you that if you put the right team behind you, then you can accomplish anything. Lambert says she is living proof that it pays off to get back up, even when it seems impossible. Live in studio, Isabel Litters, WMUR News 9.